Hello, everybody. Uh, before we get started, I do want to note I made a TikTok account. Hey! Hey! How y'all doing? <laughs> Don't ask why quarantine and self isolation kind of just did that to me, and I have nothing better else to do, apparently. If you want to check it out, please do. Uh, I embarrass myself a lot, but I also do talk about beauty and makeup and fashion and all that stuff, so back to the video. I've gotten quite a few comments recently about YouTube, first and foremost, because I know that a lot of people are still interested in making YouTube content, and I've been doing it for over four years. I'm gonna say since I was like 19 and I'm 22 now, so I've been on YouTube for about four years, but I've been making YouTube videos kind of inconsistently. I don't make videos every week, but I'm trying, and I've been pretty okay at it. Uh, but overall, I've made about, I think, a hundred-ish videos. And the one question I always get as a very small YouTuber who is, like I said, very small, is how much do I... Why do people drive like that? The one question I always get as a small YouTuber is how much money do I make? Or do I even make money on YouTube? And the answer is... It's complicated. Like, it's, it's, it's very complicated. I've been making videos for almost five years. Some good, mostly bad. And in the whole grand scheme of things, I only have... I think now it's 3,700 subscribers, which is great. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh my god, thanks. But yeah, I am still considered a micro channel that's very, very small. But in the population of Brunei numbers, I think it's a decent chunk personal opinion. You might not agree with me though. And the question I always get from Bruneians, surprisingly, is how much money or how do I make money on YouTube as a small YouTuber and as a Bruneian, in fact, because it is kind of hard to make money occasionally online. So I think the first question I have to answer is, have I made any money on YouTube? Yes. Yes, I have. It's not a lot of money, it's not consistent money, but I do consider it somewhat of like a stream of income that is there. And I think that's really important in times like these now where it's financially uncertain that we have multiple streams of income, but that's a whole other video topic for a whole other day. You just need to know that I have made money on YouTube. But how much has YouTube paid me? Well, drum roll please. Zero. I have made zero dollars on AdSense. What? Yes, I know, I know. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes, I have no money from YouTube. Why do I, why, yes. <laughs> it's not surprising. Personally, I don't think it's very surprising because one, I am not in the YouTube partner program yet. I'm still waiting to get my channel reviewed. And two, I just, haven't been posting consistently. I didn't get the 4,000 watch hours needed until now. And I've been pretty inconsistent with videos. I'm not surprised and I'm not sad by it either. It's always been a way for me to just have a creative outlet or something exciting to do because I love producing, I love creating content. That doesn't necessarily mean I can make money on it. It's just here for me. And if I have made money from my projects like this, then that's just a little bonus. Don't get me wrong, I would love it. I would love, love, love it if I had like that sweet ad money, but no, I don't and it's fine. It's, it's not too bad. That being said, I have made money on YouTube, mostly through affiliate links and sponsorships. You know, like all those ads like Squarespace and Skillshare and Amazon Audible things. Yeah, those kind of ads, except they're too big for me. I am a very, very small channel and I have a very niche audience. Certain brands have reached out to me for a video on YouTube. Most of them I have declined because they're just not my style. They're not my type and I don't trust them as a brand. But the ones that I have chosen, I've worked really well with them. They're great companies and they are supportive small content creators like me. It's really important to me that the brands that I do work with fit with me and my credibility. I don't want 
to sell you guys milk or you know skin whitening products because that don't fit the vibe with me okay i know what i like and if i don't like one thing i'm not going to promote it to you that's not what you come here for and that's important to me that's important for me to keep that honesty between you and me just because i feel like a lot of influencers don't maintain that but that's a whole other video for a whole other day if you're interested in me talking about influencer culture and marketing but i don't really know if people are interested in that if you are do let me know going back to sponsorships i don't have a lot of sponsorships because like i said i do sponsorships that are good for youtube not instagram just youtube and the price or how much they pay vary i'm not gonna give an exact number but i think the most i've ever been paid paid for my trip to venice last year that was very nice <laughs> <laughs> you, you can watch it right here somewhere. I'll leave a link down below. However, because these sponsorships are really rare, I don't trust it or YouTube in general to be a proper source of income. It's not here to make me or anyone else money unless it can. Then there's the other question of why do I continue making videos if I'm not being paid? The answer is really simple it's because I want to, you know? I want to create content because I've never stopped. I think that's also a reason why I made TikTok because it's really fun to make content that's really silly and stupid just there. And then I get, you know, my lights and my camera set up for YouTube and write full scripts so I can talk to you guys openly and honestly without just tripping over my words a lot. I really like the process of getting ready, producing, filming, editing sometimes, and then uploading it on YouTube, even if it isn't so consistent. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber since I was a kid. I think I was raised on YouTube and I'm still as passionate as I was for you years ago when I was 19. It's not easy, but it's not hard either. The set has changed, you know, my face, my look has changed and I don't think that's a bad thing. It just means that I'm still passionate and constantly changing and going on doing what I love. And I think that's important. I think you too, as a medium, as film, is a great way to stay productive and feel like I'm doing something interesting, even if it's just for me even if I'm not getting paid, even if it's just a way for me to calm down in all of this wild ride. I'm just, I'm just someone who just doesn't like not doing anything, you know? I'm very proactive and productive, and so if I could put all my energy into a YouTube video, it, it makes me feel better overall. Like, I do take rest, but also I'm just itching to use a camera. I'm always trying to figure out something new to do and to talk about because I love it. Sometimes it is makeup, sometimes it is fashion, sometimes it is books and owls, as you can see. I have a lot of owls. I have two head wigs. I have one from Sri Lanka, one from Kenya, one from a charity shop that donates to an owl sanctuary. And a little Luffy, because she's my babe. I love him. What was I saying? I have a lot of interests and hobbies, like most people do. It just so happens that I also love creating videos about them. And a lot of people do as well. I think that's why we're all on YouTube, is because we just love seeing people enjoy themselves. And that's freaking amazing. Let's, let's do that. Also, I feel like something that's super underrated or not talked about enough on YouTube is that while I know I'm never gonna make a lot of money on YouTube, like I'm never gonna be Shane Dawson, Jackie Ina level of YouTuber, I still get a lot of opportunities. One of the main reasons why I love having a YouTube channel is that it's given me so many opportunities and so many things that I never expected I would be able to do five years ago, ten years ago. Like if you told 12 year old me, like 12 year old Bash, that she would be going to South Korea or Kuala Lumpur or France with different companies and brands, she would be like, you could do that through my YouTube channel and being able to show people that I know how to talk to a camera or that I know how to style myself and all these kind of stuff, I've been able to get jobs that I may have never had if they didn't see me on YouTube. And most of all, I get 
to connect with you and I get to connect with amazing people not only in Brunei but all over the world who still watch me and who still keep up to date and just watch these really stupid videos that's supposed to be just fun and lighthearted and sometimes a therapy session because I can't afford one right now. YouTube has always been a platform for community and I really hope it stays that way. I really do hope that we make YouTube videos not because of money or because of financial freedom, whatever Jake Paul is trying to sell to us. How's that working out for us? Are you with me? But we watch YouTube videos or create videos because it's a way for us to connect and create without feeling like we're tied to something financial. And I say that as someone who is still figuring out what I'm gonna do with my life. Ugh. I don't know, don't ask me. Anyway, this video has gone a bit too long, so what am I supposed to say right now? I've not been paid by YouTube yet. I'm hoping that that AdSense money will come soon. And if you do see it, please do watch the whole ad. It would be great to support me. <laughs> or if you want to support me financially, you can go to patreon.com slash bashharry where you can donate one to $10 and your name will be featured in the outro. So it's really great, isn't it? It would really help me out so I can film a bit more, I can hire more people and just feel like this whole thing can potentially become something. But if not, that's totally cool. I just made a whole video talking about how YouTube isn't supposed to be something that's completely financial based. Should be because of your creativity and passion for it, but whatever. Anywho, I'm gonna end the video now. Hope you enjoy and I hope you start making YouTube videos because of passion and love and fulfillment and enjoyment and all that crap. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Bash Harry and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!